Hey, this is Jack at TC3. Today we're going to replace rear brakes and rotors on the 2008 Chevrolet Malibu. This will work on a 08 through 12 and probably a bunch of others. Anyway, we've got to jack her up. You've probably never seen this before, but underneath of your car, there's a little panel showing you where your sh jack should go. There's actually a little pointer there in the plastic. Anyway, you don't put it on the plastic, but you put it on the metal lift part. And with anything like this, you're going to put your jack stand under for safety. Alright, so we just take the back tire and wheel off. Uh, 19 millimeter on these lugs. Uh, I'm kind of loosening them a little at a time so as to not bend the rotor. I really didn't need to do this. I'm replacing the rotor. It's just habit. And that goes for tightening them too. You don't want to just tighten one all the way while the others are loose. It'll bend the rotor, especially the vented ones. All right, we're going to use Akabono brakes. I really like how they feel. And um, centric rotors, which are middle of the road rotors. First, we'll remove our rear brake caliper. You'll, there's two 14 millimeter nuts holding it. It's the ones outside of those rubber boots. And that's what you'll need to take the two of them off to get your uh, caliper off. Some of these are a little hard to get a socket in there. This particular one wouldn't have been, but I'm just doing them all with a wrench because, because I had the wrench there. So we'll remove these two bolts and slide the caliper off. Should come right off now. There we go. Okay, now I'm just going to slide the brake, pa the old brake pads out, off. They just kind of pull out, and the inside one will push in. There we go. I like to lay them on the ground. For people who don't do this all the time, uh, any order they went off in the direction, so you don't have to wonder later. Okay, next thing we're going to do, do is take this... Uh, brake caliper bracket off and that has two 13 millimeter bolts holding it so we'll just remove them even though it has a 13 millimeter head on it they're big bolts uh, they look funny when you pull them out anyway if you've never done the uh, rotors on your Malibu yet, you're going to have these little retaining clips that are holding your rotor on. So you're going to need to pry the edge out and kind of tear them off. Now I don't put them back on when I reassemble it. Just put the new rotor in like that. And um, when they send you these rotors, they're packed in like a grease to keep them from rusting. You need to clean them. I already cleaned the inside of it before. so uh, And you'll do this again especially when you're all done give it a good squirt just before you put your wheel and tire back on so here's your carrier slash bracket there's shims that come with your new brakes uh, you just want to orient them right pop the old one out put the new one in so you just kind of pull the old rusty nasty looking one it's not really rusty they're made of stainless steel but they get a lot of junk on them and the new one's just going to kind of snap into place. Don't bend the little ears on the end of this while you're doing it. It just pushes on. It's not that big of a deal. And you're going to flip it around and do that on the other side as well. You want to put the new shim in there. That'll have the brake uh, pad sliding easily and not getting bound up on anything. Plus, eventually they're going to wear out anyway. Okay, so we got the two of them in. 
it's worth saying while you have that off you could pull your slides out and put the grease on them uh, to slide in and out you'll have to pull the rubber boot off the thing and there's a, like a little the rubber boot goes over a little lip and make sure that's back on when you put the grease uh, I didn't show that but you should probably do that okay your two 13 millimeter bolts back in Attach this carrier. Um, I'm going to slide the brake pads in. They slide from the outside in. You put them in at, you'll see the tabs on the end. You put them in at a slight angle and until they're flush to your rotor. Then make sure all the ears are in the slot they're supposed to be in. And the same on the outside. Okay, so at this point, we're going to tighten up the carrier because the, uh, the caliper is not in the way right now. Just before you put the caliper on, take a good look. You see the end tab? It's inside that slide where it's supposed to be. Your brake friction material is up against your rotor flat the way it's supposed to be and check that. And then check the inside too because... Uh, if that's wrong, you'll be taking it apart again to do it over. And try not to jar that uh, when you're putting the caliper back on. Okay, here's a special tool. Here's a little hint. This is the side you need for your Malibu. This works really good on the Malibu. You see those two little notches in there? You're going to put those notches in there and turn this clockwise. You can use a ratchet. I have my own little way of doing it. I put like an extension on it and almost use it as a handle, a driver handle. You turn it to the right. When you first start to turn it, it will turn very difficult. And it'll get easier and easier as it gets in. So if you try to slide this back on your rotor and it doesn't fit, you don't have that in far enough. They say you're supposed to be pressing in while you're turning that, but honestly, uh, I didn't really have to press in all that hard. Mine wasn't quite in far enough, so I'm going to just give it that little bit more. I put those two ears up and down because there's a couple of rivets that get in the way, especially if you have wide pads. Uh, so if it doesn't go on there reasonably easy, you might want to adjust that. Okay, so she slid on there well that time. Now it's time to just put our caliper bolts back in the two 14s. If your slide is turning with the bolt, on the end of the slide there are two flat edges and you can use a 19 millimeter wrench to keep that from turning, but once it snugs up against the uh, carrier, it's not going to it won't spin on you anymore so I'll tighten these up and I'll give them a good snug and I'll, again I'll check my carrier bolts there they are here's the bottom uh, and you see the rubber is more compressed on this now uh, because the brakes are new it's pushed in more okay so after all that and throw the lug nuts back on. This is more a problem with a vented rotor and this is a solid rotor. What I try to do is just slightly tighten each one. Uh, this will keep your ro new rotor from getting bent. Just remember go clockwise around this every other nut and, you, and after five you'll be back to where you started from. So first I snug them and then I tighten them following that same pattern and you won't warp a rotor doing this yes you can warp a brand new rotor I've done it so just trying to save you some trouble and uh, that's about it now you're just uh, don't forget you know you're ready to drop it don't forget about your jack stand underneath pull that out and then uh, you can drop it down now and all you're going to do is the exact same thing on the other side now when you get in this car you want to pump your brakes a few times uh, to get that 
get those brakes ready for action. So, uh, and that's about it. You can do this yourself. Thank you for watching.